Hello, here's a quick but important update. Arduino IDE version 1.8.10 is upon us and with it two new features which many of you have been wishing for for a long long time and they're finally here. First one, legend or uh, data labels for the serial plotter. Now, I'm not going into uh, explaining how the serial plotter works. I have different video for this, uh, link below. But I will show you how to put the labels here. All you have to do somewhere in your program is print line to the serial uh, your labels actually. Uh, you have the labels as text separated by either a comma, a space, or and or the tab character. Either would work, but you have to notice that uh, since uh, the space is a legitimate delimiter, you can't have a name with a space in it. If you try this, like uh, you think that my income would be a uh, would be a label, no, it would be two labels, my and income, because there's a space. So you have to put either uh, an underscore or write something like uh, my income or something like this. Now, um, also notice that uh, the serial plotter is not very smart. If you, if you output the data in the wrong order or uh, forget to, to write uh, something, um, it won't uh, recognize that uh, these points of data belong to, to views and these points belong to Mycom. It just plots whatever comes in first and it will uh, mess you up. So uh, be very careful about what you're sending, sending and how you interpret this. Uh, so far I didn't find a way to, to, um, to write a single label. If you only have like uh, one series of data, but uh, it, it actually makes sense because why would you want a single label? You already know what it is. Um, so this is uh, one update which is very nice. A second thing I wanted to show you in the serial uh, monitor. This is the data that's being sent. Uh, but uh, let's say you, you want to send some test string to your Arduino and they are quite long. For example, you have uh, one string which is, um, just a moment, this one, the quick brown fox jumped over the, the lazy dog's back. You send this, you also want to send um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now you want to send these again. So until now, uh, what most of us did was uh, write them all in advance in a notepad and copy paste. But now there's a somewhat better way. You just press the um, up and down arrow keys in your on your keyboard. And here they are again, the strings that you used recently. Which is a, this is nice. Uh, it works uh, fine. Um, it only it only remembers the string in a single session. That is, if you close the serial monitor and you open it again, the strings are lost. I'm pressing the keys and nothing happens. Um, now, um, in back in uh, two, 2014, I wrote this tool, the serial monitor deluxe, to as a replacement or a improved replacement for the serial monitor and as you can see it has the um, the output box here and this not only has a memory of previous strings sent it also remembers them um, through sessions so uh, well you know Arduino is uh, catching up slowly but surely so uh, one day they'll uh, be able to do this too um, so uh, this is it for for now. Um, there are a couple of uh, minor minor improvements as well. Um, other minor improvements in the Arduino IDE. For example, um, you can change the font size in real time. In the um, it works on the on the serial monitor as well. So this is kind of nice, and uh, all sorts of things that uh, happen um, under the hood. So. Um, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and found this useful. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.